Hey guys, this is Michael here with Trend Hunter. Uh, we're just here at the Discovery 2014 show, checking out the latest innovation with regard to technology. So let's see what they have in store for us. I realized that what was needed was something that was uh, ultralight and compact, not just from uh, the point of view of when uh, it's in use, but also when you need to store it. So the first attempt at that was to reduce all the complexity, take out all the unnecessary electronics. Next was to um, eliminate the uh, chain-driven propulsion system, because uh, in, this, in this format, now you have something that's really the best of a scooter and a, and a bicycle. During my research, I realized it would be really great if the pedals were both down at the same position and to be used as footrests. So that's really the enabling technology is where we have a special crank arm that allows you to go from like uh, two legs down to one leg up and down for when you need to pedal right. and then back again for when you don't need to pedal and that's really the secret sauce of the whole bike. So what makes this different from conventional laser tag is uh, the data and the customizability that we can do here. The base system is still like laser tag and that's the thing, nothing was fundamentally wrong with that, it just was old, it hasn't innovated for about 10 or 15 years. So the first step was make laser tag much better. The gun has to feel good and sound good and act you know, well. Beyond that, we take all your game data. We feed that back to a server, a lot like a video game server. In fact, a lot of the developments we do are like building a video game, it's the same idea. Then we take that data and we feed it back to spectators. So people watching get a live scoreboard, they get live feedback of what's happening in the game. When you're on the field, you get live feedback. For instance, if you're on the blue team, you walk into a building, that building might slowly change blue in color as you capture territory moving through the field. And it's the kind of interaction that we're used to from video games. We take this for granted in a video game, but that hasn't been possible in reality. So basically whenever you make a hand gesture, your, um, your forearm muscles actually give off an EMG signal. So the sensors inside the band, they basically pick up these EMG signals and they can tell what pattern your, your, uh, the signals are and determine what hand gesture is being made. Um, then by connecting over a Bluetooth 4.0 connection, the signals are turned into commands. So it's compatible with Mac, iOS, uh, Android and Windows PC devices. And then even for those devices like your laptop and your PC that aren't Bluetooth 4.0 enabled, we're actually be providing a USB dongle um, so you are able to control those devices that aren't actually Bluetooth 4.0 enabled on their own. So the use cases for it are pretty broad. We're kind of letting our uh, developer community run with whatever they, they think is best, um, and we'll go from there. But definitely the use cases that people are interested in right now. Um, so presenting, using it for um, whether it's a professor or a business individual, using it for presentation tool um, with PowerPoint and Keynote or applications that we hope to have eventually. Um, and then also with um, within healthcare, whether it's a surgeon using it in the operating room to control the imagery on the computers without actually having to touch anything. And then of course the obvious use cases like gaming. Um, those are definitely the most popular ones I would say right now. Alrighty guys, so that'll do it here from the Discovery 2014 show. So hopefully you've enjoyed the uh, technology innovation that we were checking out as much as we did. So yeah, we'll see you back here again soon.